。好，咁啊睇下十五到十七條咧，就係、是、有一個啲植物嘅繁殖嘅。咁我哋睇翻呢幅圖啦，就見到一棵樹仔啦。咁啊 P Q R S 啊，嗱有翻好習慣啊嚇。P 係葉啦。Q 就係薯仔自己啦嚇 ，stem to bar 啦。咁 S 咧就係花嚟嘅 ，R 咧就係個果實嚟嘅。咁而家呢條題目咧就問翻我哋啦，以下嘅邊一啲嘅結構就係牽涉喺呢個植物嘅繁殖當中咧？咁呢條題目啦，雪川鳥咧都係想考翻我哋。究竟分唔分得清有性繁殖同埋無性繁殖嘅？咁兩款繁殖嘅方法咧，呢、這個表咧就俾咗大家啦。咁啊，快快手温下書啦。最關鍵、最關鍵嘅分別就係講緊究竟有冇呢個受精 f e r t i l i z a t i o n 可以發生。咁啊 ，sexual reproduction 係有受精作用發生嘅。所以有陣時啦，我哋温書嘅時候咧。左手邊呢一欄啊，嗰、那個條件啊係更加緊要嘅。首先有冇配子嘅結合先，即係 fertilisation 啦。Sexual reproduction 係有嘅 ，asexual 係冇嘅。咁既然啦要有 gamete， 咁即係我哋有 male gamete 雄性配子，亦都 female gamete 雌性配子。咁所以啦，從個 parent 親系嘅角度嚟講咧 ，asexual 係唔需要用配子嘅結合噶嘛。咁所以啦，一個親代咧已經可以啦。但係 sexual reproduction 有性繁殖啦，就通常要兩個，除非嗰隻生物係乜嘢啊 ？bisexual， 既能夠製造到雄性嘅配子 male gamete， 亦都能夠製造到雌性嘅配子 female gamete 嘅，咁所以通常兩個啦，可以係一個嘅。跟住啦，就牽涉咗有啲咩嘅 cell division 啦，係嘛 ？mitotic 一變二，二變四，四變八，個個 cell 都係 genetically identical 嘅。但係啦 ，sexual 就唔同咯喎。由於要製造配置嘅關係，所以啦，佢哋要進行 meiotic cell division， 進行咗 f e r t i l i z a t i o n 之後啦，咁啊再一變二，二變四，四變八，就變返一隻個體啦。咁由於啦有配置嘅咩嘅結合呢，所以生出嚟嘅下一代呢，就同佢哋嘅親代係唔同咗樣㗎啦。咁你睇返 A、B、C、D 答案呢，其實佢都係睇返 Q、R、S 呢三個結構嘅啫。P 呢，佢冇問你嘅。不過陣間我問你，咁啊嚟一嚟啦，做一擊破啦。咁啊第一個啦，朵花咧，梗係關事啦，因為朵花就係製造個配子啊嘛，係咪？佢就牽涉咗喺呢個有性繁殖嘅。S 係答案啦。跟住啊到個果實咯喎，個果實其實都牽涉咗喺個繁殖當中，因為啦，佢就係喺受精作用之後產生出嚟，咁佢當然亦都係有性繁殖啦。咁所以 R 啦又係答案啦。跟住去到 Q 咯喎，個樹仔自己啦，就係、是、透過營養繁殖 （vegetative propagation） 去產生出嚟嘅。而佢咧就係、是、一款無性繁殖嘅方法，所以原來咧 Q 都係答案。咁所以答案咧就係、是、D 咯。咁去到最後尾啦，我就想問翻你啦。咁塊葉咧，如果我將呢個樹仔啊呢一串啦，唔好淨係攞一塊葉啦，嚇攞一個枝條呢、这個 leafy shoot， 然後啦插落啲水度啊，插落個泥土度啊，你覺得？會唔會生到下一代出嚟呢？換句説話嚟講，即係一個 leafy shoot 牽唔牽涉喺一個繁殖當中呢？其實得唔得呢？其實係可以嘅。將個 leafy shoot 擺落水嘅話呢，其實佢會生長到啲不定根 adventurous roots 出嚟嘅。亦即係話，我哋可以利用 leafy shoot 去進行 asexual reproduction， 唔會俾條題目呢去誤導咗你啊！答案呢就係就係講 Q R S 啫，啊即係 P 呢完全係唔關事嘅，佢係因為 A B C D 冇 P 呢個答案咋，有 P 嘅話你應該係可以答埋落去㗎。So let's take a look at the question 15 to 17. It refers to the plant reproduction. So it shows the structure of a potato plant. So with a good habit for the P Q R S for the four structures, leaves, stem tuber, the potato, flower and the fruit. So the question is asking that which of the following labeled structures is or are involved in the reproduction of the potato plants? Actually, for this question, is checking us to identify the sexual reproduction and the asexual reproduction. So you can refer to this table. The difference between that, the very first difference, is about the fusion of the gamete. It means the fertilization. So for the sexual reproduction, you find that there is. Fertilization and for the asexual reproduction, there is no fertilization. So it helps us to distinguish sexual from asexual reproduction. Secondly, because of the fertilization, there is fusion of the gamete. Therefore, there must be gamete for us for the fusion, right? So for the sexual reproduction, usually there are two parents. For the male and the female one, in order to produce the male and female gametes, unless 
which is a example say unless the parents it is the bisexual parents it means that itself it can produce male and female gamete at the same time so at that moment we just need one parent and for the asexual reproduction i don't need to undergo fertilization so therefore only one parent is okay other than that for the gamete I need to undergo meiotic cell division to produce the gamete. And after the fusion of the gamete, so that is a um, say for the asexual reproduction, the that is um, for the asexual reproduction, we just need to undergo the mitotic cell division, one to two, two to four, four to eight for the cell division. But for the sexual reproduction, because we need to produce the gamete for the fertilization, therefore we need the meiotic cell division. And for the male and female gamete, haploid plus haploid to become diploid. After that, the cell will undergo the mitotic cell division again, 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8. Therefore, two types of cell division are involved. And finally, because the, for the asexual reproduction only undergo mitotic cell division, that's why the offspring and the parents, they are genetically identical. However, for the sexual reproduction, after the fertilization, there will be new combination of the genes of the allele. Therefore, the offspring will be different from the parents. So, you know that for this table, the most important part should be this column. It's about the criteria. How can we do the comparison? It's much more important than the content itself. Surely, we need to know the content. However, for the question asks you to do the comparison, you need to criteria more. So let's take a look at the answer. For the structure S, flower surely is involved in the sexual reproduction because the flower, it can produce the gamete for the sexual reproduction. And for the fruit, is involved in the sexual reproduction as well because it's formed after fertilization. And for the potato, it is the stem tuber for the vegetative propagation, which is a kind of asexual reproduction. Therefore, Q, R, S, all of them are the answer. Therefore, answer is D. And therefore, this question, it doesn't really ask you about the leaf. So what if I pick up not just a leaf, I pick up the leafy shoot and then put the leafy shoot in the water or in the soil. So is it a way for the potato plant to do the reproduction or can I do it for the reproduction? I just cut it and then put it in water. So can I grow a new potato plant by using the leafy shoot? Actually, we can. It's a way to reproduce a potato plant by the asexual reproduction. Because when I put the leafy shoot in the water, there will be adventurous root, and then it will grow into a new potato plant. However, for the answer, you may say that, no, Mr. Le, it doesn't say that P is involved. Because just for the answer A, B, C, D, P is just excluded. But it doesn't mean that it's not involved in the reproduction. Just in this question, we focus on QRS. But it doesn't mean that structure P it cannot undergo reproduction. Beware of that.